Ho, ho, ho. No, I'm not. I, I can't. I can't pull it off. No. What's going on, folks? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another week, another new adventure when it comes to our seeing with Red Cat Live. Episode 123 to be exact. And we got a couple little things that we're going to touch base on here today. It's not going to be a super robust show, but there are some things that you guys should know about if you're into the lowrider scene and have been patiently waiting for some parts to arrive. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, pause, hit the uh, hit the brakes for a little bit, and let's see what's up to a couple folks. Uh, so first and foremost, what's going on? Roadside RC Troy's in the house. See, he was here for Santa, and I was I was going to give you the Mexican Santa. Uh, it just doesn't fit. I, I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, what hardest, man? What's going on with you, man? Thank you for stopping by all the way from Dunlop, Tennessee. I love it, man. I love it. CJ Hicks, always representing Dallas, Texas. Texas is in the house, representing strong, man. I love it. Thank you for that. Uh, DNA Records, what's going on, man? Thank you for stopping by. Oscar Claus. I mean, yeah. Call me Sancho Claus. There you go. <laughs> Yoshi Rivera, man. Taco Slim. That's your boy. Yay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, man. I'm, I want a taco bad. I want to eat some tacos, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Soon, you'll be able to enjoy one or half of one or a quarter of one, but I will enjoy some of one. Uh, Milo Fimbres, man. Thank you for stopping by as well. Always a pleasure having you. Jay Pacheco, what's going on with you, man? Uh, he goes, show me the gold. Oh, we'll get into it here pretty soon. We'll get into it. Um... Roadside RC, patiently waiting RDS upgrades. And we, we've mentioned this the last couple shows. Uh, I think at this point we're probably not going to end up seeing those upgrades show up till sometime at the beginning of the year. Uh, hopefully uh, between, you know, January and March, first quarter. Uh, hopefully sooner because I'm also waiting for them. My RDS is primed and ready for some upgrades as well. So I, I do appreciate you checking in as always, though. Thank you for that. Uh, Stephen Laurie, man, what's going on with you? Thank you for stopping by as well. Appreciate that. Guys, check it out, man. So last week we, uh, you know, we had some stuff going on and we shared with you guys uh, the new Danchi uh, Ridge Runner. And as have it, as it may be, uh, and as you may have seen, they're gone. They sold out like that. So it's a good, uh, good motion to be in. Uh, it's always a good day. It just shows the popularity of the product, and uh, hopefully, a lot of people are going to have some underneath the uh, the Christmas tree. So, uh, thank you to everyone that uh, that purchased. Hopefully, we'll be able to get another order here in uh, shortly, so we can get them uh, back up in uh, in stock, and you guys can enjoy them. Uh, hopefully, sometime after the holidays. So, thank you so much for that, Jerry. Thank you for stopping by as well. Uh, always a pleasure having you on the show. All right, guys. So check it out, man. So for a lot of you guys have been asking the last couple of weeks, you know, when we're going to start seeing Dayton's come back into stock, uh, when we're going to start seeing the 26ers, the not just the regular 26ers, but the spoke 26ers coming back in stock. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you guys go over to the website right now at this exact point, uh, you can actually start searching for the word gold. Uh, and I do have the link in the description of this video set up for you guys as well. But it'll bring you up anything gold related. If you were to put chrome, it would do the same. So some of these parts already existed before that you guys knew about, right? The 64 chrome trim kit. I always recommend going with the full sticker pack ones like these because they come with everything included. Uh, we had the 59 as well. The trunk pan. Finally available in gold, right? You guys have seen that. If you guys have not, uh, it is available now, and that fits the 59 and the 64. Um, obviously, we have the gold 26ers, the tree, the three kit, the, the trio. Uh, those have been in stock. Um, we have the steering arms, uh, tie rod ends, and hubs in gold also available and in stock. Uh, gold Dayton's and Chrome Dayton's are both in stock and available now as we speak. So if you are looking for a holiday gift for, you know, yourself or if you want to hint at the uh, the wife, uh, definitely worth uh, ordering. Obviously, anything over $50 ships uh, complimentary of us within the lower 48 states. So as long as uh, you get that order in, hopefully within the next couple of days, you should have them in time for the holidays. Uh, lower uh, arms here, uh, also available, in, and upper arms available in gold. We now also offer the frame rails in gold as well. Uh, and of course, this is the big one, the one that a lot of people have been waiting for, which is the actual pan. We now will offer, or are offering, 
on our website right now as we speak the actual gold pan for the 64 and the 59 so uh if you are looking to buy one i believe this bad boy is 50 dollars and 99 cents uh and again available to ship right away so uh keep that in mind guys if you are building something that requires the gold touch now's the time you even have the cam or the front lifting bell cranks in gold available as well uh 26ers in gold so i mean guys like the gold pieces are now available in stock for you guys uh for all of you guys that want to start purchasing and of course let's not forget i know there's been a lot of you guys in the low low scene that have been waiting for this bad boy these specific parts right here have been something that a lot of you guys have been uh looking for uh and waiting for us to drop and now they are finally available uh to order so um lots of uh lots of tidbits when it comes to you know your your building needs um i believe this one also goes for 11.99 i went ahead and grouped all of these parts together so that you can find them inside of the actual um description uh or the off the link in the description of this video rear differential housings as well we also now have them in gold available on the website so uh, if you've been waiting patiently uh, man i appreciate you guys you guys are the true mvps uh the parts are now available for you guys to purchase and uh, hopefully take your build to uh, the next level so uh that's it that's the show you guys have a good day i'm out of here i'm just kidding uh but as mentioned before um the Dayton's are available in gold and chrome at this time. Uh, they're now in, back in stock as well. So if you want to restock up, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, now is a good time to buy, especially uh, with uh, Christmas right around the corner, right? Um, Jay Mead, man, what's going on with you, man? Thank you so much for stopping by. Always good having you as well, bro. Um, uh, Jared says, hey, bro, start making kit for us poor guys. That spend more than 400 all at once. Kit of what, Jared? Speak up, my brother. I want to know what you uh, what you mean by that. Um, let's see here. Alex Amora, man, what's going on with you? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, nothing new on the marksman at this time uh, that I've been made aware of. Um, Keith Ross says he wants a Gen 9 kit, please. Um to ask by for what's going on with you, man. Thank you for stopping by. David M. from Temple, Texas. I appreciate you, man. If you guys are just tuning in, we're just kind of going over a link that I have in the description of this video that kind of shows a lot of the gold bits that are now available for the 64 as well as the 59. So uh, now you guys can have them and order them up and have them in time for Christmas if you guys make that order in time. One of the biggest pieces that I'm mostly excited about is, of course, the, uh, the pan, right? The gold pan. So you guys can... Uh, start getting a little bit of gold touches to uh to your builds right so um you can get a 64 or if you already have one you can pair up the gold trim kit with the trunk pan maybe get some uh some steering uh, tie rods um hubs a-arms, luppers and lowers, frame rail, gold, pan gold, steering wheel gold. I mean, you can go, you know, 26ers gold as well, lift cranks gold. And, of course, the part that a lot of you guys have been asking for for well over a year and a half, almost two years. So uh, there you guys go, man. That's available now. Make sure that uh, you guys head on over to the uh, website and make sure you guys pick them up if you guys uh, want them. So we appreciate you guys as always. Uh, let's see what other questions we got up here in the chat. And let's make sure we're not missing anyone. Jared Say says he wants a kit for a COE or the lowrider and the Gen 9. Man, Jared, I mean... You know it's going to cost you a lot more with the kit once you're done with it, right? Just, just speaking truth. But, um, yeah, good suggestion. Thank you. I'm sure the powers that be are watching. So thank you for the, the uh, the comment and the uh, the want there. I appreciate you, Andrew Steen. What's going on, brother? Thank you for stopping by, man. Santo Roberto Frosto, man. What's going on, homie? How are you, bro? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, George H. Arnold the fourth, fourth the fifth. I hope I got that right, cause. My Roman numerals are horrible. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Tim Coates, man, what's going on then? He says, tell him to spray a little more heavy. 
uh, please. Oh, sure, you want a little bit extra, like, uh, yeah, orangey tint? Um, take a look at them when they arrive. Um, you may be happy with them. Hopefully, they do suffice. Um, let's see. Marshall Sanchez, I like how you got them gold parts standing out, man. No, you know what? We're just happy to finally have them in stock and available for you guys because, like I said, they've been asked for. They've been asked for so many times over the last uh, year, year and a half. So I'm just glad that they're in stock, and hopefully you guys can start building away and having fun with it because I think that's what the end game is always about, right? Enjoying the hobby and building away and having a good, uh, a good standout, you know, ride when you're showing off your beautiful pride and joy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tim Coates, wait till you see me engrave that whole gold kit. Hey, dude, I want to see it, Tim. So definitely make sure you share some pictures of that, man. I want to check it out, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your comments. Um, let's see. Keith Ross, man, building kits are fun. I agree. They are absolutely fun. In my opinion, probably the funnest thing to do as a whole. Uh, definitely not your most budget-friendly build as an, in an essence, but I feel, personally, I like building everything from your axles to your transmission. So I'm with you. I'm a big fan of kits. So I'm with you guys there. Jared and Keith, thank you guys for your comments. Um, Santos Roberto, he says, after the holidays, I'll be purchasing. Man, I, I'm with you there, man. I'm... Holidays might have us all a little bit tight, but, you know, maybe asking, you know, your significant other, you know, hey, I know what I want. It's on the website. Here, check this link at Red Cat Live. Just order everything in gold, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Um, Paul Reda says, I wish Red Cat would come out with a one eight scale monster truck. Wow. That's not, oh, oh, wow. Okay, he's getting aggressive with it. Well, Paul, thank you so much for your comment there. I uh, appreciate that. Um, but, uh, yeah, you never know what the future may hold. Uh, thank you for uh, for chiming in, right? Uh, my 59 Impala was a builder cha uh, class chassis, uh, but at least it's uh, all I wanted. I'm glad that that worked out for you, Jay. Uh, Jared, say, that's, uh, that, that's awesome, bro. Um, Frank Gonzalez will be having the RC Boulevard at the Lowriders show in February in Arizona. Stop by and say hi, he says. Yeah, we're going to start ramping up a lot of events going into next year. So if you have events that are happening in your neck of the woods, be it a small event or a big event, make sure that you guys are sharing that information with us so that we can also share them with everyone here. If no one's reaching out, we may not know that it's happening, right? We have a lot of avenues that we cover. We want to make sure that we get eyes on every single one of your guys' events because they're all equally important, man. So I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Marshall Sensor says, hey, Oscar, I got a question. When are you going to produce a 68 Impala clear body? You know, um, I haven't been told. I know there's a lot of bodies and years of bodies that we want to do and that we want to focus on. and a lot that we're probably already working on that I haven't even been allowed to see as of yet so um, you know who knows what the future holds there's a lot of wants uh, and the, the list of bodies that we want to make is pretty robust at the end of the day so hopefully a 68 Impala is something that could fall within that realm and maybe something that either A is already being worked on or B maybe can be started on here shortly as well so thank you for your comment we always appreciate the good ones um, all right um, let's see here uh, da, da, da. Brandon Allen, man, what's going on, man? How are you? Uh, DNA Record says, can we get an ice cream truck? Man, I don't know. I'd rather have a taco truck. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe like a, a paletero car with truth, like some, you know, so I could throw some true 13s or some Dayton's on it, bro. Maybe some scroll work on it. Now we're talking. A little bell action, too. Yeah, boy, I'm with you there. <laughs> uh, Chris Stanley, man, what's going on with you, man? Uh, Jesus Castillo, man, the Rivy body, man, the Rivy body, we're probably looking at sometime next year. I believe the last final samples should be arriving here pretty soon. If everything looks good, uh, we can hopefully put that bad boy into production and, uh, and make sure that that starts coming out. Uh, obviously, we're super close to the end of the year, so we're not going to see it. Uh, in 2023, unfortunately, but I really hope that 2024 starts off with a bang so that you guys can enjoy the hobby and continue to enjoy the hobby with us as a whole. Um, 
James Cole, he says, uh, what's up, Oscar? God bless and Merry Christmas. I appreciate that, James. Thank you so much for the kind comments, man. I love that. It's always good having you, brother. Um, let's say... Um, uh, Andrew Steen says, hey, Oscar Ramirez, you should buy my taco truck. If you have one, bro, you should send me a picture. Maybe we can work something out. You never know. Oh, man. Don, what's going on with you, man? How are you? Um, Francisco C. Camacho says, I'd like to pay something for Red Cap, man. How at your boy, man. Who knows? I might need a body that needs to be painted. And uh, maybe we can get it uh, shown off here as well. So uh, you just never know. Um, I don't got deep pockets, though, I must say. I'm on a... I'm, Balling on a budget. I live a champagne life on a water budget if you can catch my drift. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys, um, a couple of little tidbits as well that you guys should know about. If you guys are into the scene, let's say uh, you guys like the hauler and ascent, as we mentioned last week, they are now available back in stock as well on our website. Uh, so you guys can check those out. Uh, as well as a little birdie told me, and I'll share with you guys, if you are into the hauler, uh, you're going to want to check this out. RC Patina guy has swamp coolers now back in stock on his website. If you guys haven't seen these bad boys, they are really, really cool. Uh, definitely something worth checking out. I put the link in the description, the link for the product in the description in this video. These do fit the COE so that you can uh, slap them on like that. Uh, and they're going 55 bucks. And I believe he offers them in a raw resin as well as a silver chrome trim. So uh, those are now available so that you can accessorize your hauler and always make them look a little bit extra beautiful, you know, because that's always nice to do. If you have questions, RC Bettina guy, I believe, should be in the chat as well. And hopefully he can help uh, answer that. Not only does he have the swamp coolers back in stock, which I truly, truly like, and I'm going to get one ordered here hopefully in the next uh, couple of days when payday arrives because I want one for my COE, but he also has these awesome plates that are now also available uh, on his website as well with the Felix uh, on the side, uh, which would, uh, you can see the print is really nice, nice and clear. So this one, I believe, is going for about 15 bucks on his website. Definitely something worth checking out. The link is in the description for this as well for you guys. Uh, also, if uh, you are looking for some plates, license plates, RC Play Shop's got you covered. Uh, they got the COE uh, sticker plate, which fits the frame that you guys see here and the contours that are around or the cut around for the 3D print here. Um, RC Play Shop has an exclusive license plate that you can customize that fits it as well. Uh, RC Play Shop also offers a huge huge plethora of different license plates. I use them on almost every single one of my builds. He's also a huge supporter of autism awareness. He supports the uh, ASD crawlers uh, autism awareness crawl every year. He's been an amazing support system for us. So make sure that uh, you support those that support everyone else. You know, don't, uh, don't be like uh, some of those folks. Remember to support, don't extort when it comes to supporting the hobby. And that also includes your, you know, local hobby shops as well. Uh, if you go on the website for, uh, RC Bettina guy, I do believe he has, if I'm not mistaken, um, the mirror beds for the COE. And I believe he only has maybe like one or two left. So if you want one, you want to check out his website and make sure you're uh, Johnny on the spot for that. So big shout out to RC Bettina guy, man. Thank you so much for uh, making cool stuff uh, for the, the product. And uh, we can't wait to see uh, what else cool stuff comes to the camp, man. That's awesome. Um, let's see. <laughs> James Cole says, we still need some Christmas Oscar merch. I don't know, man. You know, like I said, um, <laughs> no one wants that. I'm telling you. I don't uh, I don't see that selling. We're going to order like 100 units and like sell two. <laughs> oh, man. Um Gangsta Lane says, GTA just released a box Chevy before y'all. Come on, man. I'm with you. I'm, you know, like I said before, man, we had a beautiful body that we had made up until we started seeing a lot of people complaining that it was a four-door. And uh, we're like, well, I mean, obviously, yeah, no one wants it. So, uh, you know, we decided to work on something else. You're just going to have to wait and see what that is. But I, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for uh, your uh, your comment there. Um Paul Reddit says, now I got tacos on my mind, Taco Bell online. No, don't do that to yourself. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, Chris Robert Ado, man, what's going on with you, man? Thank you for stopping by, man. Uh, Jordan Anna Cabin. Cabanilla. Um, no, no update on the Bed Dancer. We're actually working on an infrastructure that we're going to be sharing with you guys. How we wanted to launch this infrastructure before the end of the year. It looks like we're going to be looking at starting this at the beginning of the year with a nice new fresh uh, outlook on it. So uh, definitely don't stray too far away. We'll be leaking out a lot more information uh, on that exclusivity for the Bed Dancer and what that program is going to look like for those that want to buy in and, and have that behind the scenes look for it. So thank you so much for the question, though. We are diligently working on that so that we can drop it in early 2024. This is going to work. The actual Bed Dancer, we are still looking at dropping it sometime late 2024. So don't, uh, you know, at least know that the expectation is not to see the Bed Dancer available in anyone's hands anytime soon. DNA records, do they make an RC for dummies book? I'm new, but got an MC. You know, no, I mean, there should probably be one, but, uh, you know, honestly, uh, asking questions is, is crucial. Using the search feature is crucial. A lot of the things that uh, are in RC in general are going to kind of follow through a lot of different, you know, products and, and brands. Uh, a lot of the same, you know, uh, main maintenance on your vehicle is the same. Uh, battery knowledge is very important. Uh, the group is, is a great source of information. Um, and just, uh, you know, uh, just be, be eager to be out there and, and approach those with the same kind and respect and hopefully get that same vibe back. But I mean, also at the same time, if you have questions that our support team can help answer you can always reach out to us as well um, you can email us at uh, support at redcatracing.com or you can also contact us the information is on our website in fact if i'll show you if you go to our website uh, let's say that you guys are scrolling on the home page here if you go all the way down to the bottom where it says contact us It'll give you our phone numbers as well as the times that we work, right? Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. is when they're available. So if you have simple questions, technical questions that they can help answer, you're more than welcome to ask those guys. When it comes to customization and uh, what uh, you can do with your Monte Carlo and such, man, there's no more inspiration better than the group, uh, you know, that we have on Facebook. All of those guys that are in there diligently working and building are beasts in their own right and they do some amazing stuff and even i learned quite a bit i mean not even i i learn a lot from them in general when it comes to the cool stuff that they do and it, they inspire me to want to build almost daily so you know definitely something to check out So, yeah, so the, the, the box Chevy Caprice body, man, like I said, we, uh, you know, there was, there was actually some issues that we found with it. Um, the, the lines, the mold lines were, we just couldn't get them to a point where they, you know, got clean. So um, at this point, I've been told that it's kind of on hold, um, but I'm not sure what the process is. Um, maybe it'll be a two door at the end of the day. Maybe it'll still be, you know, a four door. Um, it's just on a temporary hold because we're working on some things that are going to be dropping early this 2024 year that we want to kind of focus on uh, as we bring it up forward. It's not scrapped completely and thrown off to the side and never to be seen again. It's just kind of put on a temporary hold while we work on some things that we have going on. Once I hear some more and I get a definite answer as to whether or not it is going to come back, I'll make sure to share with that with you guys once I have a little bit more information shared with me. Everyone gets touchy when it comes to a, a four-door. <laughs> I love it, though, man. See, that's the passion I love seeing, man. Keep it up, guys. Um, <laughs> Yoshi says, uh, Corey has, Oscar said he's going to give you Taco Bell tacos. No, I'm not, dude. I don't do Taco Bell tacos, man. Nuh -uh. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> Bobby, man, Bobby's RC Garages, man. Thank you for stopping by, man. D'Angelo, what's going on with you, man? Um Let's see here. Uh, Philip Wilson says, we need a 77 Monte Carlo body, man. Let me know what you guys want, man. 
Let's say that I have a magic lamp and I'm the genie and you had one choice of one body that you guys ultimately wanted in 2024 or 2025 because it takes a year to a year and a half to create a body. What would that one body be? If you had one choice of one body that you can have and that's it, never again can you speak on it again, what would that body be? Drop it in the comments. I want to hear it and I want to see it. We'll talk about them here in a sec. Phoenix RC Crawlers, man, thank you for stopping by. Uh, 52 Chevy Deluxe. Okay, I'm with you there. I'm a little bit bigger fan of the, the late 40s, but 52 would be ideal. I love it. Good suggestion. In the year-end announcement on the Spud or the Prius. No, no update, Roadside RC. Chris Rodrigo says, he doesn't care what it is, two-door, four-door, it'll sell. I'm with you, man. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Uh, Jared Say says, he wants an S10 Chevy Love for the next bed dancer. Yoshi, he says, uh, he wants a Geostorm body. Jeez. I can see that, though. A bag Geostorm, you know what I'm saying? And maybe, you know, no. Get out of here with that, bro. <laughs> Jose uh, Calvillo says, what about a mini lowrider? Like what, like a, a small-scale lowrider? Like a micro lowrider? RC Bettina guy, man, what's going on with you, brother? We uh, we actually talked about uh, your products and shared them with everyone and showed your page. So uh, the links for your products are in there. Um, so if you guys have any questions for RC Bettina guy on his swamp cooler and his license plate holder, as well as that mirrored bed, or the COE, he's in the he's in the chat, so you're more than welcome to ask away. Um, interesting says he'd like to see a '53 Chevy bomb body to fit the Monte Carlo chassis. I love it, man. Martin Lara, what's going on with your brother, man? Thank you for stopping by, man. Always good seeing you on here, bro. Uh, Ruben Aguero says he wants a '95 '97 Lincoln Town Car, very very popular car in the lowrider scene. I can definitely respect that, although I'm not a huge Ford Mercury fan, but uh, that's when I, I'd, I'd rock. So I'm with you there. Uh, Rose Hatter says he wants a taco truck. Boom. Done. Mic drop. <laughs> um, Don Galindo's 52 Chevy Deluxe. Chris Rodrigo says he wants a 67 Impala SS. Great choice. Beautiful choice. D'Angelo wants a 65 Impala, man. I'm with you there. I love that. Great suggestion as well. Jared Say says 74 Monty would be cool too. Um, 63, 63. You know, we get asked about a 63 quite a bit in the long run. So uh, hopefully that's something that can, you know, come to at some point. That'd be awesome. Uh, 34 Master Deluxe. Now we're talking. Jordan Ann, thank you for that. Uh, Jordan, Jordan Anna. Cabanilla, thank you for that. Uh, Andy Kastner says, 110 scale van. Yeah, like hard body? Um, I can see a van. I want a van. And then I want to put on the, on the outside, like 10 millimeter socket inside. <laughs> um, it's got to be sitting on like, you know, some spokes though. You know, uh, Town car, Yoshi with his geo tracker. Um, switches in Dayton, 63 Impala, C63, yep, yep. 73 Impala, 73 Impala. Uh, Chris Stanley and Gabe, Gabriel Lopez say. Uh, RC Bettina guy, Christine, 50s body Plymouth. Oof. I haven't seen a lot of Lolos like that. If you have, though, you're going to have to share them with me. Um, that'd be a cool body to see, though. That's a big body at that. A uh, lot of lines. 68 Chevy Impala, that'd be great. Um, Sixty-seven Impala, I love it. I love it. Uh, I would like to. Uh, Tobe Max Five says I would like to have a Nissan Pathfinder R15 because there is none. I think that's a perfect reason why, and I love it. Heck yeah, man! I'm with you. Appreciate that. Um, Yo, she says a sixty-five Impala. Philip Wilson, uh, any 73, 77 Monty. Yeah, the big body Montys are dope. I kind of like the uh, early 70s Monty as well, although not very popular amongst the uh, the lowrider scene, but I just love them, man. They were so cool. Um, 
Lincoln Turtle. Uh, Corey said, uh, Yoshi says that Corey said he wants a Nissan Pulsar body. Man, you guys are killing me with this. <laughs> I'm with it, though. Uh, Nissan hard body. I love it. 69 convertible bug. Hey, I don't know. I, I'm down with that. Uh, but if we're going to do that, we're going to put some MPs on it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a 2200 dual port. I know my bugs. I know what's up. <laughs> Ed Welch, she says, uh, come on, do the bow tail. Ah, I'm with you. Let's do it. 67 Lincoln Mark IV, right? Two-door white. Specifics. I love the specifics. 58 Imp Impala detailed body, Martin Lara says. 65 or 63 Impala. There's that 63 again. Everyone loves that 63. 72 Impala. Um, Boto Rivi. Um, Tacozilla. <laughs> That should be a thing. I'm with you there. Um, the, the guys go, we're not going to get a box Chevy? Guys, I mentioned it already. No, not right now. Not in 2023. Uh, maybe in the future. Uh, we had to pause the body, as I mentioned earlier in the show. If you want to rewind and, and hear that again, you guys can definitely do that. But, yeah, uh, box Chevy body was put on hold. Uh, we had a lot of people say they didn't want a four-door. They wanted a two-door. Uh, so then we started looking at the body. There were some things that we didn't like with it, so we put it on pause to focus on something, a few things that we're actually going to drop uh, next year in 2024 because we want to start 2024 with the bang. So um, 75 GMC Gentleman Jim, 58 Impala, 62 Ragtop. Um, what about a lowrider ice cream truck or mini truck? Well, mini truck we're going to be doing end of the year. Uh, so that's already in the works, right? We've talked about that. An 83 Yugo. Guys, all right, I'm with it. I'm, you know what? Yeah, you go, you go, it is. You go, get out of here with that. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Tim Quintero, is Red Cat going to be at the Pomona Fairplex again this year? Um, it just depends on whether or not they're going to have an event there this year. So nothing's been really brought up to our attention at this point. But you never know. So uh, once I hear more, yeah, maybe we'll get some information on that as well. Um, if you don't do the box, uh, the 76 Caprice will be cool. Gangs Lane, I appreciate that. Great suggestion. Thank you for that. A station wagon. Yes, I want a station wagon. I am down with that. Good suggestion. 65 Impala, Jeff Lozano says. Um, can you, Ethan Fan says, can you eat gold, though? I mean, I can if it's if the gold's wrapped around chocolate, right? <laughs> um, David M. says, I just ordered lots of gold. Um, Terry Ray says, I can make you a taco truck, a El Camino, EM1 Honda. Stop it. Stop it with, no. <laughs> I, have a, I have an EM1, but no. 58 Impala, um, and then to Tobe Max 5 says, but whatever it is, bring it to Germany so I can get it, man. <laughs> I'm with you there. I'm with you. Uh, bust out the 86 Corolla, lift back, what? Little Hachiroku action. 65 Impala, 58 Impala, 80 Malibu wagon and 64 for the 64 or chassis LRH 285. Uh, chance, we want box Chevy. We want box Chevy. Um, I hear you loud and clear, man. You just got to be a little bit louder so everyone else in the back can hear you. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I'm with I'm with this one. I need a, a 110 Chevy Kodiak truck. You know, they make a body for that already, um, but it's huge. It's really, really big. Um, I think Proline makes it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Chris, uh, Charles Waller says, uh, you should do both, two-door and a four-door. I'll buy both, he says. I'm, I love that, man. Thank you for the support. <laughs> like Martin Lara says, if it ain't a Chevy, don't raise it up. <laughs> uh, I got it, Wagon Impala. And, you know, there's that one that I see in the group, uh, the black one that I've seen. Uh, I love it. I think it's, it's probably one of the most coolest wagons I've seen out there. 58 Bel Air, Glass House, yes, yes, Glass House would be really cool. G Bodies, yes, absolutely agree. Uh, Cutlass, Regal, Malibus, right? I'm with you there, man. G Bodies would be amazing. Ruben, thank you for that great suggestion. Julian Blay, what's going on with you, man? Thank you for stopping by. He wants a 39 Chevy. I like that. And it, it is, and that that Pathfinder, R51 Pathfinder, man. Yep, yep, he's, he's hard on it. So I, I appreciate that. Um, 
I've heard that black one. Oh, God, he got the black one. It was sold. Oh, no way. That was a gorgeous ride. I loved it. Uh, Pro and Kodiak body is smaller than the Sam F-350. Interesting. Uh, 58 El Camino. Ah, dude, yes. Tim, great suggestion, man. So, guys, as I mentioned before, in the link, or in the description of this video, there's a link for the chrome bits that are now available that uh, were not available originally, such as the gold pan for the LRH285 chassis, as well as some other things. The gold Dayton's are now back in stock, gold frame rails, uh, as well as the uh, some parts that uh, he has been waiting for. 26ers and spokes are now available again on the, on the uh, website, so make sure you guys check that out as well. Um, aside from that, uh, you know, we know a lot of you guys are getting ready and prepared for uh, the holidays. So whatever you're doing for the holidays, make sure you're being safe out there. Make sure you're enjoying yourself with the family. And uh, if you have any lowrider pictures that are Christmas themed, make sure you guys are sharing them because you know what? You never know. Your picture might be the picture I might want to use for, uh, you know, Christmas morning. So uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. You guys had a lot of amazing suggestions. I know the powers that be are watching and they love taking notes because they love what you guys bring to the table. It's you, the community that really makes us who we are. And we wouldn't be uh, where we are today if it wasn't for all of your guys' amazing support, suggestions. And uh, uh, we look forward to what 2024 is going to bring here pretty soon. Uh, it is a Hoppers. I love it. I love it. Um, Joe Sparsa, what's up, homie? How are you? Um, DNA Records, man, anytime, man. Thank you for uh, for your questions as well, man. Uh, always appreciate it. And I sometimes, you know, the chat, I won't see some questions till later, so I hope I don't miss anyone. And if I do, I, trust me, it's not on purpose uh, with the utmost respect. So, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next week. I got to go take some photographs of some uh, stuff that you guys may see in 2024. So uh, until next week, you guys stay safe. Keep the rubber side down. And uh, make sure you guys are out there smiling because it's free and it costs you nothing. And it can change someone's outlook on a day. So you guys stay safe. Stay blessed. We're out of here. See you next week.